What's going on YouTube? In this video, we're looking at how to control Anki Vector with PS4 DualShock 4 controller. Now, if you want to do the same thing that I'm going to do in this video, you want to watch another video that I have created that describes all the steps that you need to take to bind the Python code to controller events. And the link to that video is going to be in the description below. I will not be programming in this video, instead I will be walking you guys through the code that I have already written to control my NK vector with the PS4 controller, specifically the motors. Um, and that code is actually going to be available on GitHub and the link is also in the description below. So if you want to, you can just copy that code and run that code on your machine and it should just work for you. Um, now, my controller is set up to control the left track of the vector with L3 joystick. So the, the left joystick controls the left track and the R3 joystick uh, controls the right track. That way, if I need to move forward, I need to press both of the joysticks forward. And then if I want to go backwards, I, I press both of them backwards and if I want to turn depending on, into uh, which direction I want to turn, I press one forward and one backwards. Um, I can also just press one, either left one or right one, it will also turn. But if you press like one forward and one backwards, it's going to turn on the spot. Um, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the code. So we start with this state class over here. Uh, and as the name suggests, this class is just designed to keep the state and we're keeping some simple values in memory. So it allows for two things. Uh, number one, it allows to create combinations with button presses. So if I want to do something special when I press X and then square, for example, I can do that by using the state you know when I press my um, when I press uh, square I can check whether X is already pressed and if it, if X is already pressed then I, I have a separate um, logic branch off of uh, for, uh, from there and then the number two it allows me to uh, set the correct motor speeds for vector when I, when I push my joysticks for L3 and R3. The problem with, um, with uh, vector API in, in the SDK itself is that you have to set the speed of the motors at the same time. So if you look at this code over here, when we set the wheel motors, you have to pass in the speed for left motor and for the right motor at the same time you cannot set one and then set the other so because of that you have to know the expected value or desired value for both of them when you do this operation so this is why we also keep the state for the joystick input for left joystick and the right joystick so the control of the motors is smooth and it doesn't jerk um, so next we have created a class here for my controller. This is just a custom class. You can name this to technically anything. And then we subclass the uh, PS4 controller um, controller in here. I cover this uh, I cover PS4 controller in more detail in the video. Um, so I'm not going to talk about it too much, but basically subclassing this allows us to override um, functions like on express, on X release, and so on. So this is what allows us to bind to the controller events. So we're subclassing it, and then in the class itself, in the constructor, uh, we also define uh, state. So state is just an instance of the state here. Uh, the reason I 
explicitly defined the variable for status so I can have more explicit uh, code statements um, that way. Then the constructor itself also takes the interface uh, string and then the robot instance. So what are those? If I scroll all the way down, you can see um, when we define my controller, we pass in the interface, which is the um, input that we need to listen for, for the events uh, from the controller. Also, this is covered in more detail in my other video, so I'm not going to go into detail in this video on this. And then we pass in the robot instance that we created here with this with statement. This is just a regular with statement for any Enki scripts that you want to run, um, that you want to write with a vector. You have to do this first and then you do actions on the robot instance. So we pass in the robot instance to our controller. So we always have this instance uh, inside the uh, controller class so then we can work with it. Um, similar to how we, we reference the robot instance here and then we access the motors from it and we set uh, the appropriate speed for the left and the right motor. So then we also define the max speed that I want to have uh, for the vector and I set it to 300 millimeters per second. Um, you guys feel free to set it to whatever you want. Uh, 300 seems to be pretty quick. Um, you could set it to something faster. Um, and then we define the max input value uh, from the joystick itself. This is from the left and right uh, joysticks on the controller. So the max value that you can have if you push it up is 32,767. Um, and actually, if you push it up, it's minus. Uh, 32,767. If you push it down, it's plus the same value. Now, let's go ahead, before we come here, let's go ahead and take a look at the um, events for the joysticks, because that is the, um, the important piece here. So, L3, this is the left joystick. So when I push the left joystick up, the very first thing I do is I add the state for my L3 acceleration. So this is effectively my desired acceleration at this time for my left track on vector. And then I call the method to update the motor state. And then this is the same logic for um, left joystick down and then right joystick up and right joystick down and then we also have two other events as when the joystick whether it's right or left when they get released uh, we set the acceleration to zero okay and then we also call update motor state so this function is getting called pretty much everywhere so what does this function do so if we go inside this function we see that we have a common method here to calculate what is the desired millimeters per second speed for my left motor and for the right motor. So the way this is done is we first calculate the uh, percentage of the input based on the current input value and based on the max value that we know we can have. And so this will give me a percentage. And then I multiply that percentage by the maximum speed that we can have, and this will give me a percentage of 300. So if if I push it, if I push the left joystick halfway, it will give me 50% of 300, which is 150. Um, and then. Um, so we, we have this value and then we also multiply it by negative one. And this is because in, in PlayStation controller, when you push up, you actually get a negative value. And when you push down, you get a positive value. So because we need to reverse those values, we multiply by negative one. So if we don't do this, when we push the joystick up, the vector will actually move backwards. So in order to make him move forward when we push up, we have to do this. 
and then finally we uh, reference the robot instance and set the wheel motors to the desired speed that we need and that is basically how you can control um, your Enki robot with PS4 controller if you guys learned something new make sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel and as always have a good one take care